everyone, it's Allison, and this video is um, a little bit of a blend between some dolphin and camel. So just a couple of different variations of both. These were poses that we worked on in 2018 in many of my classes. So here you go, it's a quick way of putting the two together. So to start, you can be um, kneeling if that's comfortable, seated. We're just gonna bring the palms together and stretch the palms forward and up. And just take a couple breaths there. You can get any kind of, you know, wiggling out that you want through your ribs. My hope is that this practice is a nice blend of um, a couple different directions that the shoulders can go. All right, we're gonna release and switch the interlacing of the fingers. Uh, yeah, 50% sure about that one. Give any kind of wiggling out, just kind of opening and warming into shoulders, ribs. Okay, so we're gonna begin in a dolphin prep. And so this is basically child's pose with dolphin arms. Um, so for this one, you're gonna bring your um, elbows out in front of you with your palms together. Okay. And climb the fleshy part of your forearm to the inside so that you're not gonna spill your elbows out too wide. And then also bring your knees a bit wide. Now from here, soften the weight of the seat back. You can let your head relax. And see if you can feel the sort of deepening of the cups of the armpits and the softening of the upper outer shoulders. I'm even letting my palms separate a little bit and turn slightly open just to get a little bit more of that space to the upper back. Let's take a nice full breath here. Okay, and then to come up, you can rise up to all fours and then bring your feet in underneath you for a bit of a kneel. So way to make this a bit more comfortable if you need more support in these kneeling poses would be to place something between your feet underneath your sitting bones. So blocks, you know, blankets, bolster, whatever you have lying around. We're gonna start with our gentlest version of camel, taking the fingertips so they face forward to the floor behind you. Instead of letting your knees peel up, imagine that your knees are actually pointing forward and down. And then you're gonna push the floor away to help open across the chest. Now for this, see if you can resist letting this become your neck and sort of sitting into your arms. See if you can keep your gaze in front and really push with your fingertips to open across the outer chest. I'm imagining you know, shoulder blades, lower points of the shoulder blades coming closer. I'm imagining like a stretch between the sternum and the armpits. Yeah. And then see if the next time you exhale, you can actually push the floor away, let that bring you back up and around to dolphin. So at this point, we're gonna interlace the fingers and slip the bottom pinky underneath so that you're not just sitting on your pinky bones. You're gonna have a more broad base to work with for dolphin. Climb the fleshy part of your forearms underneath you. And then from here, relax your neck. Tuck the toes and stretch up and back. And the, the image that works really well um, for most people to get kind of out of the, the feel of your shoulders only supporting you, imagine the center cup of the armpit like it's trying to face your hip crease. And breathe, we'll take two more breaths. Now as you take that second exhale, you can lower all the way back down, unwind your arms, sit back onto your heels, and come on up. And we'll come into our second variation of camel. This is kind of a side camel, so I'll show you this one from the front. Um, again, prop up if you need. We're gonna take one hand back. So I'll take my right hand back and I might be on palm or fingertips. I'm gonna sweep my top arm to the side and back. So it's like my arm is making this semicircle. Then I'm gonna sweep back around and forward and then switch. 
So I'm gonna take my left arm to the side, hand touches down, my right arm is gonna sweep up and back so my chest faces the ceiling, and then I'll come back around to center. Okay, so that much with the breath. You can inhale to sweep out and back, and exhale to come back around. So you're inhaling to sweep out and back, and you can let your gaze you know, follow the trajectory of the arm. So when arm comes forward, gaze forward. When arm comes out and back, gazing back. Let's do that much just once more. Piece of cake, go ahead and release. And then we're gonna practice dolphin once more. Now this time I'm gonna give you the option to add the reach of one leg and to add a little twist. So maybe you change the interlacing of your fingers and bring your opposite pinky inside. You're gonna give that little rolling of the muscle of your forearm to the inside so your elbows don't try to roll too far out. Come into your dolphin and you're welcome to just stay there. We're right, keeping that lift out of your shoulders. So your neck is relaxed, head is relaxed. And then step the feet closer to the midpoint and take one leg up and back. Now, I'm on purpose not trying to lift to my max. I'm just trying to feel the necessary kind of core stability to keep myself in this position. And then possibly you turn your top hip open. Maybe you bend your top knee. All the while staying fairly centered-ish through your sternum. And then if you have taken that rotation, you can undo, unwind, and by all means take a rest, or you can switch sides and take the opposite leg up. See that you're still lifting out of your shoulders. And then possibly you turn and turn your top hip open. Maybe you bend the top knee, staying centered-ish through the chest. Centered-ish. Okay, take another breath. Piece of cake. Come on out. You can release back down to your knees. A little blood to the brain. We'll do one last piece, one last variation of camel. So my hope is that you find within these variations um, the one that works for you. Right. So for this camel, um, we're going to do the same thing we did before with the optional lift of the pelvis. So from here, I'm going to sweep to my right side. I'm going to bring my hand to the floor. My left arm comes up at the same time that my pelvis comes forward, and I'm going to bring my gaze to my palm. Then I'm going to lower the pelvis as I sweep the arm out and forward, and then switch, switch sides. So your left hand would come back. The right arm would come up and back. Your pelvis is coming forward. And then you'd lower back down, sweep around, and come back to center. Okay. Let's do that with breath. So let's inhale, side camel. And you would exhale, pelvis lowers, arm comes forward, center. Imagine that your pelvis is moving forward as an anchor for the arm that's coming back. And the whole thing once more to each side. And then you can come back to center. Kind of a nice, quick, full body little practice. Dolphin, camel, dolphin, camel, dolphin, camel. Uh, thanks for trying this. This would be a great preparation for any other practice that you'd like to continue. Um, do give yourself a chance to rest and maybe lay on your back in Shavasana. And thanks for trying it out. I'll see you in the next one.